Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are headed down to the barn. I love snow so much! Yeah, do not wake the wrath of Sophie. Sophie is a Stella loving you mean girl. Me? Every horse loving girl. Yeah, she loves every horse. It's like when you have kids, you don't just stop loving them because they move out of the house. She's not allowed to ride Stella, guys. And are you gonna ride her again one day when you're ready? Yes. Are you excited to ride her one day when you're ready? Yeah, of course you are. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I broke my advice. Got into a big, huge fight with a bunch of people on Instagram last night, and then I felt really bad, especially because this poor young girl forgot the beat pulp. Anyway, yeah, it's true. I broke my advice, and I started saying, like, stop saying that Sophie doesn't love Stella. I, honest to God, don't know where it's coming from. I don't understand why people think that. I honestly don't. And I don't know what we're showing that's making people think that. Because some people do think that. So, I know there's like a bunch of confusion. I don't know how to fix it. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shining in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. Anyway, guys, we are gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out, everybody's gonna find a place where we fit in our family and with our pets and with our horses. I just need time and we need time to figure it out. And one day there will be a time when and nobody even remembers that Sophie didn't ride Stella for a time. And that's okay, but. It's important to give Stella time, and it's important to give Sophie time, and me. And even though Stella's probably going to end up being my horse in the end, I can't ride her until I'm ready. Until we're both ready. It's a process. It's a long process. A muddy, a messy, disaster of a process. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la la la. Welcome to today. Just know Sophie loved Stella. That's not gonna change. She loves every animal that we own, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Turn on the today is a special day. Today is the day uh, that this girl finds out what her what riding is gonna be like again for me. Today I find out the results of my bone density test and they schedule my ultrasound or my x-ray to see if I'm still broken. What is what's the verdict? Do you think I'm still you broken? I have no pain. Oh, yeah, you do. No, it's almost better now. I hardly feel any pain now. And you know what? At my age, for not feeling any pain, that's like crazy. You know what they say though? No pain, no brain. Is that what it is? Maybe I'm just too dumb. I don't know. But uh, yeah, at my age, I do not feel pain. Dad, do, you love to crack the whips? do you love to crack the whips? I love to crack the whips. Yeah. So another thing you guys should know is that I, I am terrified to make a decision about the horse. Terrified, like I don't know what to do. I, seeing Sophie with that little Palomino makes me want to buy him. Buy him? Uh, yeah, but every time I bought a horse and brought it home, I've been overwhelmed so overwhelmed like and now I already have three horses to take care of I don't know I, I, can't even ride. I mean I know she needs a horse and so it's not that it's just I don't know I don't know what it is but I start to shut down as soon as I start to think about the whole thing I'm waiting for God waiting for God to tell me what to do I'm waiting for God to give me a sign because he always does
It's a love triangle. It is. It's just a love triangle. Sophie loves Storm and Stella and Willow. And if you had to ask me, I'd probably say she loves Stella the best because she is in your heart. Once Stella gets in your heart, you can't get her out. So there's a smell on the barn today. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what is that smell? Does it smell like pee? Are we doing a bad job? It has been smelling really good in here before, but, but till now, I realize it's the first skunk of the season. Ruby, do not get sprayed by skunk. Oh, oh get off me, you muddy girl. She would be the one who would get sprayed by a skunk. She would be the one that gets sprayed by skunk. She has an appointment to get groomed soon. And somebody was saying that she's super matted, and she's actually not super matted. She's really Mom. good. She's really Ruby. good. I'm going to groom Ruby, okay? I'm gonna shave everything off except for right here where the saddle would go. She'll be our trace cut pony. I'm yeah, sad because we have a blanket. Why are you sad? Because none of the ponies like this. Yeah. No, it's a, it has a spicy aftertaste. Uh, <laughs> Stella buried it in the hay. So, so, so let's go try it. So Sophie tried it to give it. Willow, this is Willow's thing for in the stall so she doesn't get bored. Willow won't eat it. So uh, Sophie tried it with Stella today. She's like, Stella, show Willow how to eat this. It's, what flavor is it? This, I think apple. it's, it's yeah, apple. it's green apple with a sour, like a Apple's spicy taste. apple. And she gave it to Willow, and, or she gave it to Stella and Stella's like, oh, no. Water. Oh yeah, she tells that when she's thirsty. Thirsty? She's like, oh, thank goodness we have horses here now. <laughs> mom, mom, look at Ruby's feet. They match perfectly with, with the, the sand. sand. Jinx. Oh yeah. Willow? You have this on you. Are you Harry Potter? Willow? She doesn't Willow's like it. Willow's okay. new costume. Harry Potter. That's her Halloween yeah. costume. And then Stella could be the flat. Go walk through their hay. Just like, no. wait, she's got a mouthful. Hold on, just wait. She likes it. <coughs> she likes Not it. hard. Like she's licking it gently. See, oh, she tried asking. to bite it. Okay, look. <laughs> I was like, ew, gross. All but right. She already has a den. That's Stella. She likes that. Yes. Okay, that's enough. No sugar. No more sugar for her. And Willow? Woo! <laughs> Gabby! You scared her. It's, it's very possible that Willow... Gabby! <laughs> it could very well be that she's not used to containers. But this is in no container. I know, but she's not used to this stuff. It just seems odd that she doesn't like anything. I poop picked the yard, you guys. I poop picked it. These little two pieces of wood are frozen in the ground still. But soon, soon I'll be able to clean it. Okay, enough, enough. So that's going in. No, it's not. She needs to lose weight. She needs to be healthy. Get it away. Get it away from my horse. She's not yours. I know. She's my project not. pony. I know. She's all of our hey, It feels like it's been forever laughing all day. Look, Stella thinks that she's caught if there's a rope attached to her. Nope. I had to get her in trouble to make her stand. Oh. Aw. Well, it was like, poor Stella. So that happened. Sam got the tractor going. Good job. Gabby is matching blue and blue and blue. These are not matching socks, by the way. I moved rugs around yesterday and ended up with this rug in here, and it actually looks much better. Problem is that somebody let Ruby run across it, and so now there's black spots all over it, so I'll have to clean that today. Sam's going to get a gate for here, a gate for there, and then the little dogs will be able to go... In, no, they'll be able to go in here and in the kitchen to eat and back and forth. We'll be able to watch them a little better. Anyway, this new couch has been working out fabulously. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, I uh, would have bought this couch forever ago. I've never seen a couch like this. And I absolutely love it. Do you like it? Yeah. It's so huge. All of us can fit on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could probably fit ten people on this couch if we squished, which is going to be put into a test. At Easter. If you've been following us for any length of time, then you know at our old house we had a basement filled with junk 
and we had a huge attic filled with all the stuff I wanted to keep forever. Well, all of that stuff has been compacted into this small area in the basement. So yeah, it looks a mess, right? So uh, the washer and dryer are here, and then basically this is the rest of the basement. There's like stuff, and then there's our stuff over here. Um, so now that spring is almost arrived, I need to figure out where all of our spring and summer clothes are. Like, that's a huge thing. Basically, all these buckets are filled with stuff. Um, and I think there's stuff back there too. I see orange. In my defense, remember that when we moved into this house, I had seven breaks in my pelvis, so I could not do much. So all this stuff just got shoved in here, not really sorted through. I'm grateful for all the people that helped us move. I'm grateful for Sam. He took on so much and usually it's me that does all that stuff. So now I'm going to be looking for our spring stuff or I'm gonna say the heck with it and just buy new spring stuff because Oh, this is gonna be a big job. But look at this, you guys. Do you know what this is? And this is just some of it. There's more here. Oops. There's more here. This is all of your letters. Like, it might not look like a lot, but it is a lot. It's a lot of letters, you guys. I keep them all. I found the girl's cowboy boots. <laughs> and they're all bent. Good job, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. I blame mom. Yeah, well, what happens when you move happens when you move. <gasps> Too tight? Mine still fit. Ooh, my toe ends right, like, right there. Do you love them? I, have, like, I can't even get my whole foot We in. need to get them cleaned. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't uh, fit? Wait, they're coming on. Okay, I got my foot in them. They, they actually do kind of fit. Just. My toe ends like right there. Right. The well, end of my toe. It's like for me, everything's too small. Oh, this is not going well. My feet do not grow. That's the problem. Does that fit you? So we bought these last year. And we never. We didn't even wear them yet. Oh, I wore mine. It's more like a fall coat because I'm sweating already. Yeah. Sophie came in and closed the door. We're we're locked in. So this is my doctor's office. They always have a lack of seats here for us. I'm always super sensitive now that we smell like a horse. I don't want to smell like a barn. Gabby's boots are not helping. So the purpose of this appointment is to check the status of my bones, see if I have osteoporosis, which means that anytime I ride a horse and fall off, the chance of me breaking a bone would be really high. So if I don't have that, then I'll be really Thanks excited. Fall on your arm. Yeah, she's like, thanks for following your arm. That I'll never have to do dishes again. Okay, so we are at that donut store. The donut store and where we live is called Tim Hortons. And we are all having uh, a drink. A chocolate milk ice cap. It's iced, to cap, it's iced coffee, basically. Um, we're waiting for Sam. He's in an appointment. And then we're going to head out and do a few more fun things today. I cannot wait to share with you guys what happened at my appointment. We have reunited with Sam and I'm gonna tell him. Guess what happened at my appointment? Guess what the doctor said about my bones? Just guess. They are perfect. Yep, <laughs> I'm perfect. Basically, I have the bone uh, density of a young adult. I have the bone density of a young adult. So basically- and you're like 50. And I'm like 50. You're like 100. The, the only reason I broke seven bone, the only reason I have seven breaks in my pelvis was because I fell at a fast speed from a height and that's just what happens. So if I fall again, the chances of me breaking a bone are not any higher than for any of you guys. So now all I have to do is go and have an x-ray, which I can go and do that in the morning. And in a week, I'll find out if I'm completely healed and then I need to find a horse that I could ride. It is nighttime now, you guys, and time for us to put our horses to bed. I tried to take, <laughs> I tried to take the, the last of muddy way down to the barn, and now my legs weigh 16,000 pounds. Look at this. Yeah, that did not work well. But Sam, whoa, Sam did come with the tractor and grade the road a bit better. But down here, I mean, we just need more dirt. So up there, looks good though. <laughs> it, it, yeah, this. Yeah, I got no words for this, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. The mud is insane. Like, I've never experienced anything like this before. Just totally horrific. Oh, I'm missing all the fun. Yeah, Ruby. Should we leave that blanket on, Stella? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's not too cold. Yeah, it's not too cold. Dad wants to... Uh-oh. There was an argument. Uh-oh. Okay, so... She turned around and almost ran me over. That's not cool. It's because I've been bragging how good she is. Wow, that's a lot of hay for a little girl. So anyway, uh, we went shopping. We took Nick shopping. We visited with baby Jack. We uh, picked up Gabby's a birthday present. Leave it open. Dad's going to come down and grade this thing while we get ready for bed. Um, Gabby, uh, we picked up your birthday present. What do you think it is? Obviously, love you. You, you saw the size of the box. Boxes. Was there more than one? Well, it was either one or two because it looked like it was folded. Oh, well. You could see like box and box like that. Well, don't be disappointed if it's not Lemieux, but I can tell you that it's amazing. Well, I, I should the same brand as Lemieux in the same. I box. should be able to see it. I know. That's what she always wants to see what Gabby got. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to tell you guys about our choice on the ponies. The choice between the ponies. Sophie, what, what pony do you think we chose for you? Palomino. We chose none. We chose none yet, and this is why. But you're I the am I gonna choose the Palomino, yes. you guys? I have a, such anxiety about the whole horse thing. Like every time, except for Storm. Storm was easy. We took him home. We took him to home to Fiona's. It was wonderful. Stella, we took him. We took her. We got her. It was wonderful. We took her home to Fiona's and uh, that's back when everything was amazing and good and then, and then we moved Barnes and that's when everything started to get crazy and now I have this unbelievable stress level that I don't even know how to explain. Like, I just feel so nervous with Storm getting hurt, Stella foundering. Like the most peaceful thing that's happened to us since the whole move when Fiona closed her barn was Bringing Stella home, bringing Stella home and getting Willow was the only easy going thing. Like, I can't even explain how stressed out I am and I don't want to make another mistake. I don't want to make another mistake and it's not that I care about all the things that people will say if we make a mistake, it's that I don't want Sophie to end up in a spot without a horse again. Like, I don't want her to invest all of her love and all of her attention in this horse that we're supposed to choose for her and be so in love like she is with Stella and then rip it away from her and tell her she can't ride because there's a problem. Like, it's been hard on, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. All I know is that I have really bad anxiety about picking a horse, like crazy anxiety. Like, I, I've never had this much anxiety in my entire life before, ever. All I can tell you is this, I need more time, I need more time, like, I don't have any more time because another kid is going to try one of the horses t on Saturday. So I have today and tomorrow to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. But I will figure it out. And at the least, I think we're going to go and try the Palomino again. And try him with the bitless. I just want to make sure that like the things that are, are, like, he has a lot of money and he needs work. And so I need to make sure, I need to be sure. I need to be sure that the things that are wrong with him can be fixed. But that is it for today's video and uh, thank you guys so much for all your love, all your support and sticking with us even when I get grouchy because people are saying mean things on Instagram. See you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.